Gas stations line the roads and highways across the United States, fueling the country's cars and trucks. They arguably comprise one of the most important retail businesses in the country. There are 152,000 convenience stores in the U.S. That's 30% of all stores in the country. Put another way, one out of every three stores in the U.S. is a convenience store. It's a $654 billion industry, but those who follow it say most Americans know very little about it, and it's actually rather misunderstood. One of the things a lot of folks don't actually realize is that almost two thirds of the industry is still single store owner operated, meaning that your local gas station may be owned by somebody who lives at the end of your street. There are more than 100,000 distinct companies in the convenience and fuel retailing industry across the U.S., more than in any other sector of retail. 62.1% of the market is made up of single store owners. That is, as it sounds, owners who own just one store. It is somewhat difficult to see this, since many, if not most, fuel stations often bear some kind of corporate logo, typically from a petroleum company such as Shell or Chevron. Despite the corporate logo, though, these are still independently owned businesses. Owners of these stores often have some kind of franchise deal with the fuel provider to share costs, but the stores are not owned by the oil and gas companies. The other 37.9% of the convenience and gas station market is controlled by larger chains, which includes familiar corporate brands such as 7-Eleven and Circle K. But most of the chains in convenience and fuel retail are regional. Wawa, Sheets, Racetrack, and Casey's General Store are all brands well known in different regions of the country. About 15% of the total market is controlled by chains that are 500 stores or more, and most of those are regional chains with a few national brands thrown in. Brands that are thriving now are differentiating themselves, and many are starting to look more like restaurants. Historically, there is a bit of a bias against food bought at gas stations. Many, now well-known regional chains grew out of that initial complex environment where some stores began selling gas and some gas stations began selling food. For example, Wawa has built a reputation for its sandwiches and coffee. Independent stores are carving out their own niches as well. High Country Market and Gastropub is one such business. Located in Round Rock, Texas, the store is a destination for food, craft beer, and high-end wine and it is attached to a gas station. Before it was a gas station, regular convenience store, and um, people would come in, just buy like chocolates and buy little, you know, uh, things. If they wanted any medicine, if they wanted any bread, milk, if they wanted bandages or band-aids or whatever, it, became, it, was, it started as a proper convenience store with a restaurant, a diner, and a small beer bar, wine bar but he found it difficult to distinguish himself from the competition. So he diversified. If you want various kinds of good waters, kombuchas, at least 10 types of organic sodas or regular sodas, I will have those. Walji said many other convenience store owners who have sought him out for advice on transforming their own businesses sometimes seem intimidated by the investments and the work involved. Others lack the knowledge for making the transition. Many businesses also simply don't have the space High Country has. Maybe I may be a jack of all trades, but it separates me from the guy who is just going in to buy either a lottery ticket, cash a check, or buy a Coca-Cola walking out. In a market that is crowded, changing, and like the rest of retail, more than a bit uncertain, it helps to be creative.